Andres, can you tell us a little bit about this collaboration you're doing with Wicklow Wolf? Uh, the idea of I, what, what, what I kind of uh, always um, prefer, if at all possible, when doing collaborations is trying to brew beers with a sense of place so that a, a beer that, that, that really somehow through the raw materials, perhaps also the processes, uh, says something about the brewery, uh, where it's made, and, and where that brewery is located, and, and, and the background for that brewery. And then I try to chip in a little bit with the, sort of the, the Nordic approach to brewing that I have in my luggage. So what kind of, what is the Nordic approach to brewing? Yeah, it, it, it's, again, based on brewing with a sense of place, it's, uh, it's trying to use as many local ingredients as possible. So for some of the local flavors and try to stand out be a bit different, we have local Wicklow honey going into this and then also elderflowers. So it should definitely impart the nice floral, fresh, kind local of Local Wicklow fruity. honey from our own hop farm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. so it's a blonde ale, a honey blonde ale. Yeah, elderflower and honey, kind of strong blonde ale. Okay. So like we'll kind of springtime. Springtime beer. Mm -hmm. A little stronger, but still yeah. all for Spring beer, a nice time beer with a bit of a of punch to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know why there's something about the air here. I, I wake up with a headache every time. I'm <laughs> 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 it's a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs>